Ooh, what is going on guys? Pokemonium here and welcome back to another Roblox code video guys. What is going on today? We are back in Blade Throwing Simulator. I'm going to be showing you guys all the new codes and all the codes that still work. Before we get into the video, don't forget to like and subscribe, turn on them notifications so you never miss another code video. We are getting closer and closer to 1500. Please subscribe. We are probably, I think we're like 60 away from 1,200. I'm trying to hit 1,500 by May. That would be super cool. And a lot of you guys, according to analytics, are not subscribed. So please subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. Also, thank you so much for 50 subs on my Pokemon channel. I really appreciate it. Please go check out my Pokemon channel if you're interested. And without further ado, let's get straight into the code video. So yes, the new update, the Steampunk Island update, we are going to be exploring this island in the video, so stay tuned for that. So here we go with the codes, a lot of codes, um, but here are the new ones, the new code, code FRASH, just like that, and that gives you gems, depends on how, like, how uh, far you are in the game is how many gems you get, so code FRASH, just like that, then we get, then we got code SUB, to snow rbx it's up to snow rbx and we get more gems the third code is gonna be code code mk just like that about 60 more sp gems for me and then we got code opa opa wait um opa opa just like that code opa opa more gems can't go wrong with gems they help you open the new eggs and things then we got code um then we got code JoJo. Whoops, I keep spelling it wrong. JoJo Craft. Uh, the first couple codes that I used were the newer ones. So I'm just kind of going through all the codes that still work. JoJo Craft, there we go. And then we got code 50k likes. Just like that. More gems. And yeah, I'm just kind of speed running through all these codes. Feel free to pause it if you need me to. Um, I think I've used this code already. Talanthric, yes. Talanthric still works though. We got code Snug. These are the older codes, but they do still work. We got code Discord, already used. We got code Vex Squad, right there. We got code The Cookie Boy, just like that. Just making sure I'm covering all of the codes for you guys. I got you guys. We got code Toad Boy Gaming, spelled just like that. We got code Million Two. Oh, I hadn't, I hadn't used that one yet. All right, that gives you coins. We got code million. There we go, gives you gems. We got code razor. We got code, we're almost done, I promise. We got code gaming Dan. And we got three more. We got code secret. We got code Twitter in all caps. And we got code planet Milo. Just like that. Those are all of the codes. I don't know how many that was, but those are all of them, including the new ones. I hope you guys enjoyed that. But yeah, let's get straight into the gameplay. Please do not click off the video because I'm going to be showing you guys everything about this new update. Thankfully, because I am pretty far in this game. I'd say I'm pretty OP in this game, so I'm thankful that I can show you guys the new island. The Steampunk Island. Um, so let me just read the description. Steampunk Island, 50 new blades, 5 new ranks, new perk, which is a souls multiplier. 7 perks, max upgrade increased, and King of the Hill gives souls. So guys, if you don't know what souls are, basically, um, they upgrade your blades. Uh, if you go to Auras here, this was in the, uh, the last mini update. You see, I have 15k souls. When you buy these, they increase your power, just like that. So I need 66k to get the next aura, the poison aura. But yeah, they increase your power, which is pretty cool. You have to battle these bosses. As you can see, there's like a heart up there. You battle the bosses, and you get more souls. And yeah, apparently now, in this update, there is a perk that multiplies the souls, which is great. Very helpful. But yeah. Let's get straight on to the next island. I have 20, I have max jumps on this island, so I'm going to go, and I'm going to get to the Steampunk Island. Definitely should be easy, unless I fail parkour. But yeah, I'm excited. My pets are pretty good. I didn't get, you know, the 8 stars that I wanted. I got a couple 8 stars, but they're, they're alright. 
Um, I didn't get to play as much as I would have liked to, but still, I'm excited to see how good these pets are. I'm also curious to see how expensive this egg is going to be. Um, but yeah. Alright, we are close. And then, uh, yeah, they moved the lava boss. Every time there's a new island, they move the lava boss, which makes sense. I think that's fair. Guys, look at this island. It's such a cool island. Island 19, a 20 times cell area. Guys, that is OP. 20 times cell area. Okay, well, before we check out the egg, man, this island looks so cool. They did such a good job on this island. Oh, I can't afford it. But, all right. Let's go see how much the egg is, the steampunk egg. It is 17.5 SP. That is a big jump because the last egg was 7 SX. This is a big jump, but as you can see, I have 76 OC, so I should be fine. Let's open it up. We got steampunk tanks, steampunk coal, steampunk pilot, steampunk gear. All right, I like it. Now, I don't know the exact definition of steampunk, um, but I know it's very like uh, like an old city type, like an old rundown city type thing. So we got like gears, we got like coils and tanks and whatever. Um, as you can see, the 2% is Vortex 3. Vortex 3 is the new highest pet tier in the game. We haven't gotten it yet. We've gotten everything else. Let's see if we can get it. I did see what it looks like from a thumbnail of, a, of somebody's YouTube video. And it looks pretty cool. And uh, it's super OP. So let's just see if we can get it. We're getting pilots. We're getting phantoms. And uh, yeah, 2%. Obviously, I've boosted the uh, the uh, egg hatch rarity perks. So be sure you do that um, to make it so it's easier to get the harder to get pets. If that makes any sense. Just make, make sure you're maxing out your perks, especially the egg perks, pet clone, all that. We still haven't gotten it. Oh my goodness. All right. Well, I wonder if our inventory is going to fill up soon. Let's see. Steampunk tanks. All right. Now, I'm curious. Gears. Phantoms. Man, 2%. That's like, that's rare, but we should have gotten it by now, right? We should have gotten it at least once. Like, I just want to show the people. Come on. Oh, man. This is bad. All right. Well, maybe our inventory will fill up, and then we can uh, we can uh, evolve them and see how good they are. All right. Our storage is full. Let's evolve all. Now, these are my best pets, in case you're curious. Um, I got a six-star one of these. I was really close to getting eight-star Vortex 2s, but I didn't quite get there. So yeah, these are my pets. Um, so yeah, so if we scroll down, our best pet from the new egg is a four-star steampunk phantom vortex, which is good. Obviously not amazing yet, because that was our first time hatching through. But uh, yeah. Oh, uh, shout out Provolt, Bike, and Sky Savage. I have a VIP server, by the way. All right, I just want to get this new pet. I I need it for the thumbnail. <laughs> like seriously. I need this new pet. Um, let's keep going. Let's keep going. We got this. We got this. I'm actually going to hold down my mouse button so I can get some uh, some power. I can't believe we haven't gotten it yet. <laughs> this is kind of ridiculous. But uh, yeah, again, this egg, or this this island, and this egg, but this island looks really cool. Um, I think Blade Throwing Simulator is doing a great job. Their devs are great. Um... You know, they're, they're making things different than other simulators, and that's the reason they've been successful. And I really give them props to that. All right, this video is going to be super long. Can we please just get the 2%? <laughs> like, come on, how have we not gotten it yet? Oh, man, I apologize for this, guys. I should, I, I know I don't really edit that much, so I, I should just edit till I get it, but I think we'll be okay. Can we just get it? <laughs> Can we please just get it? Oh man, this is bad. I might not, I, I might just have to just get it off camera. But uh, yeah, let's do 10 more. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, 
Seven. We're not gonna get it. Eight. Nine. Ten. All right. We didn't get it. Um, let me just evolve what I have. Equip best. And uh, yeah, none of them are good enough to make my team. But yeah, got that, guys, that's gonna do it for the video. I hope you guys enjoy it. And uh, yeah, be sure to like and subscribe. Turn on the notifications so you never miss another code video. Let me know what other games you want me to do code videos for. I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out.